Hello, this is Leila uh, from Radakad. In this video, I'm going to cover some of more concepts about Power BI goals, and we are going to see that how we can set the goals and how to set the settings. So you, if you remember from the previous video that I introduced Power BI goals, it's very easy step to set up the goals here. You see in the simple examples that how we set the track and the goals to the uh, uh, actually to the dashboard and how we can use them. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about that how we can assign different elements in our visual to the uh, goal. So we are going to see that how different visuals we can set, uh, we can add legend to that visuals to that goal. So uh, for example, uh, for a specific legend, the aggregation, if it's a categorial uh, data, the aggregation of that value can be choose as a, a matrix and as a target for that goals uh, also you will see that we can access to the data point and uh, also access value for that process so uh, and also we may have categorial data and time series data no matter uh, actually which one we are still able to use them as a target for the goal so let's start and uh, check the Power BI. So I'm going to my Power BI service over here. So uh, if you remember, we uh, able to access through the goals over here. So I'm going to here. These are the goals that I already set. As you can see, some of them already appear here and you can uh, kind of see them over here. These are the ones that I created uh, last week. Okay, so as you can see, <coughs> I just do that so these are the one that we created so they become at a when you're going there you can see all of them are here so I want to go and check before I'm going to change the goals uh, uh, there are a couple of things so for example I'll go to the test the one that we uh, do last week you're able to edit that one so if you click on the edit then you will see that you're able to uh, kind of uh, update the goals over here so you can come back here and change the goals over here for example in this uh, one uh, I'm going to add a I'm at a goal that if it's less than 20 of percentage it should be behind less than 50 less than 70 and then I'm going to the greater than uh, 100 which is something missing in between so if the value for example so it's cover uh, this is a problem that may happen is cover everything before 17 and cover everything above 100 but uh, the value between 70 and 100 are missed so just be careful about the rules that you creating so I can change this one to be uh, kind of less than um, or equal uh, to 100 of the target they are good and I'm going to add a new role and uh, here I'm going to set yep the about 100 if they are greater than of that also they are uh, kind of uh, completed so you can set that one also over here so I just save that one so you can actually change the rule status uh, you can change the setting you can uh, kind of interval of showing the goal you can uh, here doesn't have but you can make it to daily weekly or monthly so you can track these goals based on the uh, different schedule that you have moreover in the status rule you can move up or down or delete the one that is not unnecessary and you can add more condition through hat also you can check the history of the values that is changed so uh, for example it's not a star on track or there so you can have a history of done over here and of course here you can add some notes through that one uh, beside that you uh, actually there's a other things that you can uh, also do that on the permission so you can specify the different roles to that so you can set who can see that well, for example i define the rules that reza able to see the current status uh, the status and the notes of the goal so you can specify the group of the people who can see that and add different roles so different people able to see 
different goals so that's another one and another things that we have here are the status you can uh, provide different colors so uh, for example you can add your own status that definition in your organization so you can add them define them and also change a different color for them and provide that which one is higher and which one is not so these are the things that actually you can edit uh, your uh, actually your goals and kind of check these things through them so now back to the uh, roles i'm going to edit this role uh, this goal and i'm going to uh, kind of update that so as you as i mentioned through that you can choose any visual there so for example you can choose a card visual over here when you choose the card visual it's going to show the exact number that is there for the uh, visual like this one that has the for example categorical variable like gender if i click on the mail it's going as you can see there it shows that there is a filter apply so that means uh, it shows based on the legend that i select like that his mail is going to show the aggregation of the mail and if i click on female is going to shows the uh, kind of the that and as you can see it shows the latest value for that because it's a time series data now if i back to here and i select this one so it's going to show the total one is not going to show the latest amount of that because it's a categorical variable the same for the other one they have you see that it doesn't change that much you're also able to choose one bar or one categorical data so it shows the aggregation for that so in this example is going to uh, for the target is going to select the current value as the aggregation of that so if i choose uh, each of them you see that is actually choose the aggregation of them moreover you're able to select the data point so in this chart i'm able to select the data point as a current value so it's going to uh, for example specific name with a of course i already have a filter here that is the uh, kind of the select the top 10 customer so you can select legend you can select uh, actually the uh, any visual like card visual it shows the value you can select a data point so for example here if i click here it's going to select that data point for me through that so if i you can see that i select that one and you can see the uh, filter that already applied over here so six uh amount of year that exists month six and it's for gender that is male so i can click on the each data point Point and put them as a uh, actually current value so after that you're able to actually save that one and kind of see the changes uh, if i just back to the goals that i have so now you can see that all of them has the color and all of them shows the rig so if it's actually changed um, based on weekly or monthly it is depends that how data is changed during the time you are able to see the status over here thanks so much for watching this video